Hello, hello, hello. It's your man, Mr. Brown, Chicago. And I'm coming to you this week again with Dinner in 45. Adding another app um, to this and looking to go live on Twitch. So bear with me. Um, new to it. So I did a test the other day. And it came out pretty okay, so trying to um, see if it's working, but if not. Well, welcome to Dinner 45. You know my people on Instagram Live, my people on Facebook Live. It's your man, Mr. Brian Chicago. We're doing um, Dinner 45, and I'm cooking with Southside Jerk sauces. As you can see, I have the sauces, original Southside Jerk, the Southside Jerk Bold and Spicy. Then I have Southside Jerk Original Rub. And the bold and spicy rub. That's right. Sauces and rubs. And I'm going to show you for the next couple weeks how to make different uh, quick and easy meals like you would in Dinner in 45 with the rubs as well. So, I mean, incredible meals that you can make. They're quick and affordable. And if you don't have the time to do all the seasoning and the marinating preparation, Southside Jerk is there for you. Same with seasoning. I mean, we're going to season and, and, and cook so many different dishes. It's going to just blow your mind of all the different creative meals that we're going to make. So today we're going to do three. Okay, we're going to do three. So I'm going to start. And uh, the first one that I'm going to uh, create is a, a sloppy joe. So I'm going to take what we all have in our house, some leftovers. So I got some leftover hamburgers. And I'm going to put these boys to work over here. I'm going to ground them up real nice, cut up my little vegetables and all, and make some sloppy joes out of them. So just showing you, you know, stuff that you either have around the house, leftovers. You made a bunch of burgers, which I did. You know, I made a bunch of burgers. So there's two of us over here. I might make eight burgers. You know, I'll go through a pound of meat, and uh, I'm going to cook it all up. So make my little uh, burger meat. And cook it up and, you know, keep moving it from there. So. Got the gloves on. And I've gone through, you know, showing y'all how to cut up some vegetables, you know, easy ways and safe ways of cutting vegetables up. So, you know, we're going to keep it consistent and we're going to continue that trend. So I have some uh, green peppers already cut up. I put my little sloppy joe mix. I'm gonna cover onion, couple of onions. I have some um, mushrooms already cut up. I'm finishing. So you see, I just cut it in half and cut the ends off. Real easy on a flat surface, on the flat side of the surface. Just keep it safe, so you don't end up cutting yourself, cutting your fingers off, anything like that. And then um, just you know, take that peel side of that onion that you don't need, pull it on off. And then the rest of the onion you got to cook and cut and prepare and dice and slice however you want. Always keep a good sharpener. So this is what I use to sharpen my knives with, so it's one of the best sharpeners out there on the field and in industry, so that's what I use. So I'm able to cut and go quick. And you know, when I'm dicing, I taught you all before, I go down the middle, then I made my little stick marks on the side. That's gonna be my separation. So I got two levels, and then I'm making my separations right here. And then you just cutting down. And it's doing the work for you. That's it. And you see it just dicing themselves. See? You can see it just as I cut, they already diced. One cut, many dices. One cut, a bunch of dices. And that's it. I want to do the rest. Let's take the flat part down, just like this. Go down that way. Turn them over to the side. Okay, 
and you dice them off. You have all dice onions saved. You didn't cut yourself. You didn't hurt yourself. And just easy way to dice the onion. I'm going to use this diced onion in my um, stock Joe mix. So I have my burger over here. And I have some ground up beef that I, and I always pre like ground beef for spaghetti and uh, tacos and nachos and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to my skillet. Just I'm going to olive oil it a little bit. Move it over to the side so you can see. Put a little olive oil in. Turn the fly up a little bit. It's already hot. Turn that on low. Take my burger. Put it in there. Have a chopper. So this is one that I use for a griddle, a lot of things like that. So I have my handles right here. So these little plastic knives here so I hold my handle and I burn myself. And so you really can't see me cutting it, but I'm gonna give you all a that now. a bird's eye view, you know, while to cut it up. I'm going to take this thing off the fire for a little bit so you all can kind of see what I'm working with. So I'm in, and it's hot. We put on there, but I got it on the um, protective heating tray. See? So this is metal and it, you know, keeps it standing and tearing up the wood on this countertop. And this is all I'm doing. I'm just chopping it up. Chopping it up. See? Chopping up the hamburger. Hamburger's already done. Had enough burger, so I'm going to change it up a little bit and add a little something to it. Things. So when you're doing things, you want to make sure you got the right type of equipment for it. You see how it chops up pretty well? I'm going to all that and put ground beef, ground meat. So now, Get it back to the fire. That's chopped up. Nice and hot. Well, I'm going to bring it back because I want to show you how I mix it all together. So, I'm going to come back with the water. And then, south side jerk sauce. That's it. So we're going to take south side jerk sauce and we're going to squirt it in here and create a sloppy joe sauce. And then I'm going to add mushrooms to it. So cut me up a couple of mushrooms. You know I like some mushrooms in my uh in my sloppy joes. And it's a quick slice. Take the mushrooms. Mushrooms are pretty easy. I mean you can use them whole if you want them whole. You know I just want to cut them up a little bit so they're just not too full. There you go. And I just add these mushrooms to it. 
Slam in some green peppers as well. So, I got my green peppers right here. I have my green pepper stored. And like I said, it's already cooked. The meat is cooked. So I'm not trying to recook the meat. I'm just keeping it warm. So my heat is at uh, a medium low. That's what my heat is at. So take note, the heat is at a medium low. And it's already cooked, so I'm not trying to relay that foundation. I'm coming back to you so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm just stirring it all up. That's it. I'm stirring it up. Add some more. Toss that jerk sauce to it. And you can, you know, you add as much as you want to get you the nice texture that you want. You see, I'm just stirring that up real quick. That's it. Taking that south side jerk, I'm stirring it up. I got the green peppers, I got the onions, and I got the mushroom. I'm gonna sit it on this heat. So that thing can pretty much caramelized the way that I want. I'm gonna sit here on the stove for a few. Hey, we ready to go. So next up, I'm gonna create a south side jerk chicken piece right here in front of your eyes. South side jerk chicken piece. Lemon crust. Always buy a prepackaged. Make it real easy and simple, you know. You gotta do too much try to reinvent the wheel. So why well, do it when you don't have to, right? Yeah. So we come again with South Side Jerk. Here it is, right here. So, I have my spoon, I have my south side jerk, so my sauce is going to be south side jerk. Just like if you wanted to make a barbecue pizza, or what have you, you know, you'll use the barbecue sauce. So, and I'm going to mix it with a little bit of my already made pizza sauce. So, I already have my homemade pizza sauce ready to go. So I'm making my south side jerk with that. It's gonna give me the thickness that I want. Cause I didn't take time to thicken it. But all the flavors that I want, Gonna mesh in and blend in. My already pre-made piece of sauce. And like I said, I always make my pre-made piece of sauce ahead of time. So and I got south side jerk mixed with it. And here we go. Mushrooms I'm going to add on there. As you all know, I love mushrooms. So that's on my pizza. I can't have pizza without mushroom. Some people like the green peppers. I do green peppers too. But me and mushrooms, 
things go meat and mushrooms or just a mushroom piece in itself man you're talking about something good like the pre-cooked chicken I've already cooked up Get this good talk real quick. That's coming out, that's sticking right here. And that's like Joe Mix. And that's going to simmer. We can caramelize and come together. And I got that chicken. Bam. And that chicken is already marinated and cooked in Southside jerk sauce. So, Man, it's gonna make that thing even. Ooh, that's gonna be something else. You're gonna enjoy that. Trust me, you will enjoy that. And then now, take this over here, and I'm gonna. Then I'm gonna add my mozzarella, but I'm gonna shred some parmesan. So I shred the parmesan right in front of you so you can see how it's done. So you know, let's see that you know, be serious about it. The parmesan is already shredded for me because it's mozzarella. I'm gonna shred myself. I'm gonna throw that thing in the oven for about 12 minutes, and that's done. Quick, fast, and hurt. So you got the kids over, you're doing a play date or whatever. You take some leftovers, make some sloppy joes, throw some south side jerk on it, put some pizza and sauce, add the south side jerk to it, add the chicken marinade and south side jerk. Put your shredder, shred your cheese. Use what you need. All you need is what I need. The need is there. I have the Parmesan and I have the mozzarella, so I'm not going to oversaturate with too much cheese. And there you go. And cheese. See, get that over here, and I'm gonna move this over here so you all can see. Put this cheese on there, and I'm just sprinkling the cheese on just like that. And not a whole lot because I already have Parmesan cheese on there, so the Parmesan cheese is on there. That's gonna melt, the mozzarella is gonna melt, so you ain't just overabundant. Just too much cheese and bam. Some people like it cheesy. And don't get me wrong. If you like it cheesy, then you, you know, add as much cheese as you want. But this is all you need. You throw this thing in the oven. Square minute. Bam. Cheese should be ready. I'm coming back. Sloppy Joe's is ready. Vegetables have come together. Your saute with the meat, so everything is in a nice combination. And then I'm gonna plate this top choppy Joe real quick. 
And then by the time the pizza come out, I'm gonna have this wrap ready for it. Sloppy Joe's, this is how I make sloppy Joe's, you know. I like mine with cheese, but I love it with toaster bun. You know what I'm saying? I take my bun and toast my bun. So I do a toaster bun and I let it sit. And I cook it. My level is like um, on my toast that I do in between two and three. So I get a nice little brown, not too brown. Nice toast brown, and don't forget, you know what it's sponsored by. We sponsored by Southside Jerk, the rub, Southside Jerk, Golden Spicy, the rub, Southside Jerk, the sauce, Southside Jerk, Golden Spicy, the sauce. And you know, you can go to the link up top, and you can go ahead and purchase your order. You all on Instagram, you'll see me putting in some more uh, posts and uh, the link. I know you can't click the link on Instagram. I know they. They don't, they don't uh, Jimmy Jam us on that one. But, you know, just maybe just copy it and uh, paste it somewhere else, put in your URL, and then, you know, you can go ahead and uh, go to the links and order you some Style Style Jerk. You know, this is created, created in Chicago by a brother from Chicago. And, uh, you know, I, I know food. I know Chicago food. I grew up on Chicago food, real food, you know. Uh, Mama now, you know, I ain't not that stove ball. You know, not the uh, corner store, not the Vianna's in the, uh, the hero shop. Mama now. So, you know, I know real food. The rubs next week. Hey, it should be about ready for me to come out with them next week, man. Y'all be ready. I'm telling you, this thing's going to be popping. And the sauces, you know they're here. So, you just heard that. That was a toaster. Let me play it, play it. Nice, a toaster brown. You see that right there? That toaster brown right there. This is, that's what I want. That's the consistency that I want when I toast my bread, you know, when I'm at the house. That's how I want a toaster brown like that. And then, I'm just going to slap. And hold on, let me... Let me use the flame. I want y'all to see this right here. So I'm going to bring the thing up front. See y'all, you know, so y'all can kind of see what I'm doing, what I'm working with for real, for real. And then I'm taking it right there, and I'm going to slide that thing on the bun. Slide it on the bun. Then Sloppy Joe. Now what, what, what's the first name of Sloppy Joe? Sloppy. So it ain't going to be all pretty and fancy, but it's Sloppy Joe. And I mean, meat, I want the meat falling all over. Sloppy Joe, meat falling off the side and everything. Sloppy Joe, y'all. Sloppy Joe, Southside Jerk. Sloppy Joe, Southside Jerk. There it is on the toaster bun. You put cheese on. I used to put cheese on mine. But I heard that most of America don't like cheese on their Sloppy Joe. I put cheese on the top and the bottom of the bun. So when that heat hit it, it melt. And it, ooh, it stick all that stuff together like glue. Man, you talking about something good. But that Sloppy Joe right there, South, Sloppy Joe, Southside Jerk, in no time. You see, Sloppy Joe, that's it right there. Sloppy Joe, look at that, look at that right there. That's Sloppy Joe made out of Southside Jerk. Sloppy Joe right there. Quick, all leftovers. That's all leftovers. That's it. You, the burger meat you already had in the house. If you didn't cook the burger meats on and you ain't you didn't want to eat burgers no more, you made sloppy joe. There you go. You want, you want sloppy joe? There you go. I'd pass that on. Somebody wants sloppy joe. Okay, so. Oh, I take that in my hand. I'm gonna take that back. I got six minutes on this pizza, right? So I'm coming down and here. Let me 
You come back on top here. I'm gonna clean that off, right? So we're gonna come on back over here. And now I'm gonna hit y'all with with veggie wrap. So look at this. It's so easy peasy. And that's all it is. Here's two points. So this ain't this this ain't nothing but burrito. Ain't nothing but burrito shell tortilla burrito flour tortilla burrito type tortilla, right? Usually make it wrap. Now they got the um the spinach and the um. The salsa mix and everything, you know, and tomato and basil, you know, wrap rolls or whatever. But if you don't have that, just use this regular old right here. That's it. I'm coming out with some south side jerk bold and spicy. And I'm just I'm just laying it on there. Let's look, let's look at it. That's it. Just laying it on there. And what I did last night. Last time, let me pull up. My, uh, my mayo. My mayo. Yeah, right here. So, I'm going to use this mayo. Mayo left here. Right? I'm going to use mayo. I'm grab me a little bowl right here. And spoon. And spoon right here. So, I'm going to take a little mayo. Spoonful of mayo. That's it. The spoonful of mayo. And then got the bowl of spices. Right? I'm gonna whip that bowl of spice up with a spoonful of mayo. Y'all see that right there? That's all it is. I'm gonna whip it up real quick. Bowl of spices with the mayo names. We're gonna do a chicken wrap. Chicken already cooked, Southside jerk. You see how it's all come together there? See Instagram live, Facebook live. You see how it all come together right there? When I whip that thing up right there, see look at it. Whip it. I'm whipping it. Then whip up that thing right there. So even on what I put on before, and that's a spread right there. I love everything. Here we go. Easy, please. And that's all right, right there. Is all I'm gonna use for the wrap, right there. That muscle with it, man. They, I'm gonna use this right here. The Southside jerk mayo combination. And I need to cut me a little bit of onion. And I'm gonna take this little cone, cut up. You know, I'm gonna dice it up real. Real thing in life. That's what I do. Right there. That's all I need. Right there. Them, them, them little pieces right there. I'm going to use that because I'm going to dice that boy up. Micro mini style. So, that's all. I'm going to take these right here because I'm going to cut these up real quick. Shaving real thin. That's all. I'm shaving real thin. Going real thin and light. So I'm okay. Cut That's all. Cutting it real nice and thin. 
And there you go. Okay? That, that, and that's what I want. That's what I want right there. That's what I want. All right. So, I'm going to take my onion and I'm going to sprinkle them down because I want that flavor. The red onions. I want the flavors on the red onion. See right there? I want the, the flavors. So, I'm putting it right there on the sauce. Then, I'm coming up with my lettuce. Hold on, I'm gonna slap it. I'm gonna get some cheese on there. So I'm gonna slap me some cheese. I'm gonna come up with some cheese. Just an easy American. No shredded. Just an easy old slice of American cheese. And bam. That's my American cheese. Come with my little lettuce. And I'm gonna cut that up too. So I'm gonna get my. So romaine lettuce, not iceberg, as you can see, romaine, romaine lettuce. And I'm just slicing that up too. And I'm just making my own little shredded version of romaine lettuce, that's all. I'm shredding my own romaine lettuce. I got that right there. I'm gonna take me another one and do the same thing. Just shred my little romaine lettuce. So now I got my own shredded lettuce. Piece about ready to come out. And she ready too. She ready. So I'm gonna turn that off. And then we're gonna turn that off. And I'm gonna finish this real quick. To take the piece out. So you can see the piece. And see the work on that. from that jerk Instagram live. You see that Facebook live? See that robust red on that pizza? That's from that south side jerk. You see what I'm saying? Jack Terry, you see, you know what I'm talking about right there? You know what I'm talking about Jack down in, in, in the sip? This is what I'm talking about right there. That boy made pizza out that south side jerk. So you can take that south side jerk, make some pizza, make you some, uh, uh, what we gonna make, a, a wrap? You make Sloppy Joe's with it, Roger Miner, you know what it is with the sluice leaf. You can go ahead and uh, get the sluice leaf, make your, uh, Southside jerk pizza. That's what I'm talking about, man. Ursula was happening. Hey, this is what I'm doing. They look at me. It's your man, Miss Brown Chicago, up in here. I got the pieces. These hot pizza coming out of the oven, man. You can make these for the kids. And I'm telling you, the babies will love it. It don't take no time. I'm 34 minutes in my show. I don't make a pizza. I don't make sloppy joes. And now I'm about to finish up with a chicken wrap. You know, I ain't gonna do it myself. You know what I'm saying? I don't wanna, I don't wanna show the end in a half hour, but, you know, it look like it's gonna be that way. So now I just take the chicken that I already got, my pre marinated chicken from a south side jerk, and I'm putting it on top of my lettuce. There it is. And if you wanna add tomatoes and all that, so we can do all that. We can do all that, but I'm not. I'm not doing that. You know, so we rest my onions on that bad boy right there. I'm scoop up my onion and bam. And see, I put everything on this on this on this loose end right here. So when I'm rolling it up, I got the majority of my stuff towards the back end. So when I come roll, y'all like come scoop and tuck it in. Tuck on in. Tuck it in. So you scoop it and tuck it in. Right there, I hope y'all can see me. Y'all can't see me, see what I'm doing. See what I'm doing, hold on, hold on. I see they see me on Instagram live. I wanna make sure Facebook live see me. I'm scoot you down. Scoot you down some more. Okay, now, see me, tuck it, and roll it. I'm tucking and rolling. And then I'm tucking and rolling, I'm just squeezing it a little bit to get it to give. And then I'm tucking it down, after two numbers, get a squ squ squash roll, get my linebacker squat position, and then there it is, right there. You see me, I'm tucking that thing right there? And see, with the sandwich roll, you you know, you don't have to fold your end like a burrito. 
So you just tuck this bad boy like this and let it roll and let it roll and let it roll. Now you probably get a little sauce that roll out towards the end. That's fine. That's cool. It happens. But what you usually do, when I do with mine, I, I slice them. There you go. Slice that in. Slice that in. You got your nice little sound roll right there. Yeah, there, right there. Let me, let me get a plate put on that so y'all can see what I'm talking about. Yeah. And you got you got you a nice little there it is right there. That's a wrap. You got your wrap, you got the chicken. That's why I opened it up like that so you can see what's in there. You can see, you see the chicken, you see the lettuce, you see the sauces and all that. You see all that up in there. You see all that. You can see all that, the chicken and the lettuce. You see them onions and all that stuff in the wrap. Instagram Live, you still doing the same thing. You can see the onions. You can see the, the lettuce and the chicken. You see all that right there? There's all the stuff you got in the wrap right there. You done made it quick. And, man, that thing is delicious. Oh, wait, let me bite that thing. You know, I just got a little bit of bite of it. And I was like, the, the flavors hit you later. It's like an aftershock on the flavors. Man, that thing good. I ain't gonna even lie. That thing good right now. This thing will hit me so, mm mm. This thing will hit me on an aftershock. So, man, we done made three dishes in 37 minutes. This is an hour show. It's dinner 45. In less than 45 minutes, we're gonna make sloppy joe. We're gonna make pizza. We got pizza right here, Southside jerk pizza. We're gonna make salmon roll, and you can cut them boys up however you want, and give them, you know, give them little quarters or make it half and half. That's why I cut the end so it looks a little decorative, and then you can kind of see what's in the rolls. People are like, hey, yeah, what's in there? Like, oh, you can see what's in there. But the flavors, man, I'm telling you, these flavors is popping off of this. If you like jerk and you don't like it too spicy. That's South Side Jerk. That's, South, that's it right here. South Side Jerk, if you really don't like it spicy. You want it hot, or you want something to come back and kick in the back of the throat, this right here, bold and spicy, is for you. And guess what? South Side Jerk rub and bold and spicy rub. You know, it got that kick on. And this thing, you want to taste this thing? Delicious. Mmm. Uh, Y'all know how I eat. I don't eat no, I don't eat no nasty food. I'm a, even if it's mine. You know, I'm old school. So I would talk, if you mess up food, you have to eat it. So we had to, I had to eat my mess up. I burned some chicken. I had to eat all that burnt chicken and suffer through it. And it trained me, even as an adult, to still do the same thing. So if I mess up something, my lady be like, baby, why don't you just throw it away? I'm like, nope, I'm going to suffer through it. So I never make that mistake again. And she'll tell you, like, well, he make a mistake in the kitchen on something. Trust me, he ain't going to do it twice. Because he'll sit here and he'll eat that mess. I don't know how he do it, but he'll do it. So, because I was raised that way. We didn't waste food. You mess it up, you better eat it. <laughs> so, but one thing I ain't going to do is lie about no good food. And I tell you, some people got some bad food. We went to some top-notch restaurants. There ain't no good food, man. And I'm telling y'all, be careful, especially... You know, with things we open in COVID-19, I see it all the time. I've gone to restaurants, I go to stores, and we not doing right. Those black folks, we not doing right. Baby, bring me my mask. Give me my mask. I'm gonna show you. We you go to the store, people got the mask half on. You got your mouth covered, not your nose covered. But you sneeze through your nose, and the COVID ain't coming through your nose. I'm just, I'm just saying, man. This is, you know, and it's common sense. Then we got old folks, I age, grown folks, I age. And we sitting around here doing the wrong things. And then we don't, we don't want to be corrected. And then these kids don't want to be corrected. Ain't nobody correct me, kid. That's why they out here robbing everybody, cutting the food. You got to bring in the National Guard this weekend because it is. Ain't no home training. Ain't no home training. 
Our parents didn't like that nonsense. We were growing up, gangs and neighborhoods, we had leadership. Certain things were accepted, certain things wasn't. You got a lot of this and wrong, it was a violation. We took care of things in house. And I'm just saying, it's just, it's crazy. And we out here, you go into the store, and this is what they look like. This is what they're doing right here. You go into the store, and this is what you see. And this is the employee. They back there cooking your food like this. You know what? I ain't lying. They back here, they cooking your food looking like this. You see all that nostrils. You know, I got some big nostrils. You, you can see Mississippi through my nose. Look at this. And this is what, this is what, they, this is what they look like. And then something like this. They got the mask down. What, it, there ain't no chin cover. They got it down over on their chin. And they serving your food. You go into the grocery store. They stocking shelves. They stocking the refrigerator and cooler with their mask down like this. And it's scary. I don't want to go to nobody's restaurant and you got three, four people back there like this. Or they like this. And it's people that know better. People in their 40s and 50s. They doing this. Okay, Bree. That's what it's for, fool. Everything go to your nostril, go to your brain first. Not straight to your lung, to your brain, fool. You sniff cocaine, it go where? To the brain. You drink cocaine where? Go to your digestive system. Come on, man. I mean, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just telling you, hey, man, I'm just keeping it 100. I'm keeping it 100. You know what I'm saying? Just, just common sense. It's just real common sense. That's all it is. It's common sense. You know, it's common sense. And people are not using common sense. And then we shut down the cities again, and we shut down everything, and the economy is going bad because we're doing dumb things. We're not doing the right things. We're doing dumb things, man. So be safe. Be careful out there. That's why I'm making these shows, man, so you got to cook at home, and you don't have to be exposed to that. You got to be exposed to these people out here dirty. Because majority of the people that are working in kitchens, man, they're minimum wage employees. I know. I employ them. They're minimum wage employees. And I had to fight before COVID even came along with clack cats just doing everything according to coal. According to food and sanitation and coal. Food handlers. They ain't got no food handlers license. They're not changing gloves periodically like they're supposed to. They're not washing their hands when they're supposed to. They're not making sure that they do cross-contamination. They're not doing that, man. They're doing whatever they want to do. And they're serving people. And I'm telling y'all, be careful, because I don't see it. I don't have to fire people. I don't have to get, get rid of people, all that over there. And it's a constant battle, because these people got bad habits. And they bring them bad habits from when they was cooking in jail or when they were cooking at the school cafeteria or wherever else, and they come to other business with these bad habits, and they still doing the same things, man. So I'm just telling y'all, man, be careful. Every restaurant that's open, and you know, and it's a popular thing, man, you don't know what's going on back there in them kitchens. I'm telling you, I know. I've been back there. I've been back in some of the best kitchens out there, and they know me in the industry. They like, man, he, he a butt. He a stickler for, 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 for rules and, 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 and policy and procedure. You got to do everything by, I got to do everything by the book, dog. That's how I get out. I do everything by the book. I'm going to make sure I cover A, B, C. That's it. I'm going to cover that. I'm going to cover that. You know, so, you know, and it is what it is. Everybody don't do things the same way. That's what I'm telling y'all. So this is what Dinner 45 is for, man. This is Mrs. Uh, Brunch Chicago. And these are my rubs. Here's the sauce. Go to the link. Purchase it, man. I love you all. I'm doing this for the people. The show is for the people. This sauce came up because of the people. They would, they asked for this. Hey, man, you need to sell this. Hey, man, how, you need to put this on the market. Hey, man, how can I get this? So now it's here. And the rubs are here. You know, so, you know, I'm, I'm, I did this because of the people. God is blessing me because I was a blessing first. We did this. We asked nobody for nothing. We did this out of kindness of our heart. We're still doing it regardless, and we're just trying to keep people safe right now in the middle of this pandemic. And, man, it's something we've never seen in our lifetime. Our parents haven't seen this in their lifetime. And, you know, just trying to just touch the world and teach people, man, how to kind of do this thing at home. Until we can get back out and do it right and do it the right way, look, man, stay home, stay safe, and your boy going to be here every week trying to give you something fresh and creative 
and you know, straight from my heart. All right. Love you. One love. Mr. Brown Chicago. Show is over in 46 minutes. But uh, hey, I appreciate you. Until next week, we'll come out with some more hot stuff, man. Appreciate you.